ken chopa chawi ti chop twis yun kun watu yama kama wona henak nek bugra shak kun ti chi wa um chawa dong abuk shami non i am bastila yes i take it that you know my mother bona na kachu kicha badwang wanga kum kiba bu mulera kakin chak nawa gawa bakon Donk ki ba nukun. Is there something I can do for you, miss? As you can see, we're in quite a hurry. Kakin cha na kwat na bon kon. Wana kumbes. Chi pala mulek. Tong ki pa na nonek. My mother's condition. Ti un pa do punta krita. Ak ti konda una chabach. I've not seen my mother since I joined the order. Do you know what's happened? Did she. Genchopa chawi ti chok twis yun kun. Watu yama kama wona henak nek. Bugra shak kun ti chi wa um chawa. I see. Where did you meet her? Do you remember? Chachika ton mulaka. Wata yuma ka wama hona nek. Ashanti. Thank you for informing me. I it seems my mother's been looking for me. <laughs> Strange. Should we get the opportunity? It's important enough that my mother was attempting to seek me out. Perhaps a part of me would rather not see her at all. But if she's really sick... I'm here. Yes? Yeah, what do you want? We fought against the Republic forces for some time, 
over the course of many battles. At the start, they were not much of a threat to speak of. But once the Jedi Revan took charge, things began to turn against us. The Republic fleets began to use more than just basic tactics. Feints, counterattacks, mass deceptions. Revan was a genius on the field. Revan abandoned worlds of their defenders so that others would be too fortified to strike and was willing to make sacrifices in order to advance goals. And in the end, Revan proved too much for us. The Sith had gone, retreated into their empire. They sealed themselves off from the rest of the galaxy. We thought it would be centuries before they'd come back. It's amazing that they could rebuild their fleet so fast. But at the time, it looked like the galaxy was in our grasp. I still remember that final battle in the skies above Malachor V. The two fleets filling the space around it, outshining the stars. It was not your ships, or your men, or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions of one person, the Jedi Revan, that you prevailed. His strategies and tactics defeated the best of us. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of his attacks, the tenacity of his defenses, and the subtleties of his plans. He fought us to a standstill, and then began pushing back. We really didn't have a chance. It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted to fight the best, in a battle that would be remembered for centuries. And we did. And Revan won. I don't hold a grudge against Revan, and neither do any of my people. It was the greatest moment of my life to be in that battle. If Revan had been a Mandalorian, nothing in the galaxy would have stopped us. But wishing for the past to be different is useless. Better look to the future, as we should now. We'll talk. Is there something else? Your choice. Yes. What is it? I... I have been bothered by something of late. I never told you where I came from, did I? Where I grew up as a child? I have been wrestling with my feelings inside. Trying to come to terms with it. But I find I cannot. Someone to blame for the destruction of my homeworld. Someone who is responsible for the death of everyone I have ever known. It Taris. It was Taris that the Sith destroyed to try to kill you and your precious Bastilla. Taris, my homeworld. If it were not for you and Bastilla, the Sith would have never had reason to destroy that world. It was your fault for being there, and your fault for rescuing Bastila. Without your intervention, the Sith would have had no cause to lay waste to my childhood. Just let me vent my anger. I need someone to blame. Something. Anything. I hated that world. Yet everything I learned as a child, I learned there. It is as much a part of me as the air I breathe. I have this ache inside me, where all my childhood memories lay, and I find your face there with them. If it was not for you, that world would still exist. I know. But it is so hard to lose your entire past. You would not understand. I suppose that is to be expected. Everything will turn out for the best, as long as we remain focused on our task. I am sorry. I will try not to distract you in the future. Your wish?
Even more of these crawling beasts are hiding in the underbrush. I'm Jolie. Jolie Bindo. Follow me to my camp and we'll talk a bit. Why am I here? Well, it isn't because I like the stink of dead Kinrath. Let's move this talk to my camp where the air is better. Keep close. It's nearby under a log. Yeah, I live like some burrowing rodent. I fought the Sith. Now look at me. Welcome to my home, such as it is. Pull up a stump and be comfortable. We should discuss a few things. Don't coddle me, child. I'm neither a Jedi nor your master. I'm just an old man that's been lost in the woods for far too long. My days of glory are behind me, but perhaps there is something I can do for you. You must have questions. What is there to tell? Jolie Bindo is the crazy old man in the dangerous woods. I'm content with the impression I give. I follow the Jedi way and I command the Force, yes. I suppose that makes me as much a Jedi as anyone, but what of it? Why should being what I am compel me to entertain others with tales of the good old days, huh? I've seen my share of the dark and the light. Frankly, both extremes annoy me. Of course, I have felt rumblings of change. I do not feel a taint of the dark side within you, old man. I sense you are a servant of the light, whether you will admit it or not. Well, I assure you, I see more gray than dark or light. I'm just a stubborn old man, tired of the foolishness of others. <sighs> fine, fine. Yes, among the Wookiees. Intriguing creatures. I like that they have little patience for bureaucrats. But of course, even here, there are hidden things that manipulate. Circa Corporation was smart to put him in power. He's as good at destroying Wookiee culture as dropping corpses full of Ardroxian flu. Will you work for him or against him, I wonder? I would be interested to see. Uh, sure. How's this? Think for yourself. I don't care for politics. I'm big on letting people figure things out for themselves. The Wookiees have prophecies of deliverance if you ask them. But for now, they follow without hesitation. That is their wish. Maddened with grief, perhaps, but not crazed, I helped him pass to the lower forest where only a Wookiee could follow. Some other matters will determine if you can follow. There is a barrier that, well, we'll talk of that more in a moment. It is a very unfortunate matter. It will end in shame and sorrow. You will find roar war down here, and more. I've witnessed a number of happenings, but I have left them for others to sort out. <sighs> Fine. Now why would you be asking about that, hmm? <laughs> I knew that had to be why you were here. The problems of a few Wookiees don't encounter anything before the concerns of the Jedi. No, you are here for the map. Kashyyyk is an interesting place, more so than anyone suspects. If Zerka Corporation knew, <laughs> the planet would be a strip mine. The Wookiees have their legends that they were not always here, but it is more than that. The trees themselves are strangers. What I'm saying is that there are literally walls in your way, and you won't find what you need without my help. 
And my help has a price. You must do a task for me, and then allow me to join with you. I will then remove certain barriers in your path. Oh, save it. I know this sounds absurd, but I'm old and entitled to work you around a bit. Besides, the test is simple. Since they began expanding in the Shadowlands, the Circa have left me alone for the most part. Until recently, anyway. A group of them set up camp not far from here. Poachers is all they are. I'd like them removed from this place. They don't respect this place. They're butchering wildlife and threatening entire species. It's getting under my skin. The Whoopies could take care of themselves if they wished, but the animals are truly helpless victims. Oh, please, this is arbitrary errand work. But such are the requests of the aged. You still have to do it. Their camp is in the far northeast. You presumably have a ship. I've seen all I wish to here. Isn't that enough? I mean, I'm really sick of the trees. And perhaps your destiny might show me something new. Good. Return to me here and we'll see how you have done. Shoo! Shoo! Huh? What? Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like? Taras was my home for many years. As much as I hated it, it was still home. A rat hole, a war in, a paradise. I suppose you could call it for me. It was hell. walk down the streets, to have people look at you in disgust, like an animal. 
Most did not know anything about me. But it was there, all the same. Because I was an alien. Because I was different from them, frankly. I doubt any of them had even seen my people before. So they persecuted me. They looked down on me and my family. Charged us more for food. Would not let us walk down the streets. They spat on us. You are human. You could not possibly know. That is true, I suppose. But it is much more obvious for someone like me. There were no other Catherine Terrors. No one to talk to, no one to confide in. <laughs> but you must think me weak for saying this. But I am strong enough to admit it. I thank you for your concern, but... Uh, I am weak. To think that some stories of my stupid past could possibly... I thank you. You are kinder than I would have expected. Put up with me using you. I hope that I will not lose your times. Who are you, another civil merchant like that coral slime up on the docking ring? This is my territory. I don't make deals, and I don't persuade easily, so go back topside. Mess with my profits, and I'll see you dead. A crazy old fool is still alive. I suppose he's still upset that we don't all live in little homemade shacks like he chooses. I've got a job to do here, and there's nothing you or that old coot. Is that old hermit Jolie trying to talk you into doing his dirty work? We've spent too much on setting up just to walk away. As long as the sonic emitters keep the Preds away and I've got bodies to guard the perimeter, we're staying right here. I mean, if I can put up with my own worthless guards complaining about this place, Jolie whining through you is nothing. Good. I'm not down here to direct.
Interesting you'll have to talk to the commander. He's in charge of our harvesting here. Why am I here? I'm here because this is where the commander told me to stand. And that's all there is to it. I'm just a guard for the submitter. Why couldn't they have just equipped this lump of tech with a blaster and left me at home? I'm not here because I know stuff. I handle a blaster well enough to guard this emitter and that's it. No more dangerous than walking out on the commander. He'd kill me for disobeying orders. I'm not here because I know stuff. They generate a sonic barrier that allows us to stay in this wonderful location. I don't know how it works, really. What of it? I don't like being here, that's for sure. I suppose you could... Enough of those emitters go down, and the camp will have to move out. You want anything, you'll have to talk to... Why am I here? I'm just a guard. What do you want to know about that? I don't like being here. Enough of those emitters... What? Run! Run! Welcome back! I wonder, have you had much luck? Have you done as I asked? Yes, I could feel it as you walked near. And I don't sense the smell of death on you. You spared them. Interesting. Wasn't there? I suppose not, but the environment would say otherwise if it could talk. No matter. Yes, of course. Let's get moving. I noticed the old path some time ago. You probably wouldn't have found them on your own. There's also a Zerka repulsor field blocking the way, past the poacher camp in the east. I saw it when it was installed, so I know how to pass it. And on the other side, ancient answers. And perhaps a Wookiee you are seeking. I hope he's in the... What? 